Y'all, it's time. First, decorate with us Christmas season 2023 front entry. <music> Over at Decorate with Tip and More. Today is our first Decorate with Us Christmas season 2023. We are going to change it up a little bit. We're going to be doing our front entryway first. Usually it's our kitchen. So after you see how I style my entryway for the Christmas season, go up and see how the other girls are decorating theirs. I will have their um, videos up in my feed. So you all know in my front entryway, I have one wall that I normally decorate for all the season. And this is the wall with the bench. So we're gonna start with that and um, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. All right, to start this um, process, I'm going to hang my um, rods of bells. If you all caught my um, shopping haul yesterday um, at Kirkland's, that is everything that I'm gonna be placing in the room today. Now the bell rod here, had several bells, I'm talking several. There was four large bells, four medium-sized bells, and four smaller bells. There are just too many for the small wall to me. I think they're beautiful, but I think I'm just going to um, style my bells with just one large one, two medium ones, and two small ones. And I'm gonna hang them on the top coat racks here. I'm going to center them. Well, this I know is in the center, so I'm going to put my larger bell in the center. And then I'm going to put the smaller one on the outside of the other coat hook. And then I'm going to put this, this medium one right where this coat hook is because I know that's centered as well better at that angle instead of having all these bells um, on this little wall. So I will go ahead and um, style these in other parts of my home. But can you imagine all those bells on that little bitty wall? Just too much. To hang my garland, I'm using these little nails that's um, on top of the, um, the little shelf here. And I'm using floral wire and I'm, I'm wrapping that around the, um, the nails. So then I can tie my garland to, so it won't fall off of my little ledge here. Just taking wire, wrapping it around the nail, me some support for my garland. So now I'm gonna add my garland up on that little ledge above the rod there. It'll cover the rod and then the little wires will hold my garland in place. So I'm just gonna add it to the ledge here. Got the wire that I put up there earlier and I'm just wrapping it around the base of the garland, not the whole greenery or anything, just the base. So it kind of looks just naturally hanging on my shelf. So I love how this is looking. It's very pretty, the green with the gold, but I want to give the greenery just a little more texture with some flocking. Um, I'm just going to take bits and pieces. I want to um, just add a little bit of flocking with some of the picks that I have here. This, um, I got it at Walmart um, years ago, but it's just got a little bit of um, flocking to it with some pine cones. The greenery, just place it in that garland. Now this ain't gonna go nowhere because I have it pried against the um, pole of the bells and then my garland is up on that ledge. So I'm sticking it in between the two so it's pretty secure. So now that I have it here, I'm just gonna um, be going maybe every six inches and adding another one. Um, this piece of greenery I'm using has flocking and has a little bit of pine cones and a little bit of um, glitter to it. Um, it's really, really pretty for an accent um, greenery, but I'm just going to go ahead and give it just a little bit of flocking. 
ones I'm going to add is just these little picks that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. It has just a little bit of flocking on it. I want to give it just a little bit more texture. Okay, so I like the touch of white to it. Now I'm going to just add these battery operated lights right on top so that the light is shining up and not all in um, the garland. I'm going to hide the pack over here so it's easy for me to um, get to. Put the lights right on top of the garland. So I like how that looks. I like that it's upper lighting and not going through um, the greenery. Uh, so now I'm gonna hang my um, Mary sign up on the wall. And that just kind of finishes that whole um, setting. I love how that looks. So now we're gonna go down to the bench area. To the bench area, I'm gonna add this pretty gray plaid throw. And I'm just gonna place that on this side of the bench. Add this pretty um, plaid pillow with the uh, word Mary. I'm just gonna add this to this side of the bench. And to the middle of the bench, I'm gonna add this um, floral arrangement. And on top of the um, throw, I'm gonna add a red and a uh, blue book. And I'm gonna turn the books to where the binder is toward the wall and um, the pages are toward us. I was thinking about putting this on top of the books and calling that done, but now that I have um, a spare bell, I'm wondering if that would look better or is that too much? I'm thinking that's too much. I think I like the simplicity of the vase here. This um, picture right here. Tie this little bow to the handle to give it a little bit of color. So I like how everything looks, but I'm wanting something more um, colorful right here along that white wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, I have this um, velvet um, burgundy ribbon, and I am going to tie bows on each of these bells. Yeah, I do like um, the ribbon on my gold bells so much better. I'm going to call my front entryway done. Thanks for coming by and watching me decorate the first space in our home for Christmas 2023. Go up and check out the other girls and see how they are decorating their front entryway for Christmas. Also, if you like how I decorated my foyer, please give me a big thumbs up and sprinkle it with your friends on your page so that my video will get out there to more people. Maybe they need some inspiration on um, this Christmas season. On the blog, um, I did link everything here that you see on um, Kirkland's website. Also, um, today on my blog, decorateandmorewithtip.com, I am showing more close-up photos. Maybe you'll need something to uh, pin on your Pinterest until you're ready to decorate. You can go up there and look at um, each individual photos um, for inspiration. So I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow. See you later. God bless. Mm -hmm.